Welcome to a fantastic episode of The Comic Stand with Spider-Man and I because he was actually a member of the Fantastic Four for a little bit so who better to ask the opinion than him? Uh, just basically something that came to my head a little while ago about uh, the casting. I don't mind the casting. It's just I feel like I had, like I said, for a lot of these uh, opinion videos I've done about casting, I had somebody else in mind for certain roles. Uh, Michael B. Jordan as Human Torch is just fine. Fuck the haters. Um, everybody else is fine for their roles. Kate Mara as Invisible Woman, I don't picture her as that hot chick that most of the Marvel men want to sleep with. But at the same time, I don't have a problem with it, but I just had somebody else in mind for the role. And I'm going to tell you guys two really fantastic women that I had in mind for it. Um, my first pick was Amelia Clark, a.k.a. the Khaleesi Daenerys from Game of Thrones, because I feel like she has that, that beauty and that elegance to her, where it would have been like, holy shit, she's hot, why is she married to Mr. Fantastic? And most of the Marvel men would have wanted to sleep with her. And I feel like... Amelia Clark would have done perfect in that role. She would have done so much for that role. Plus her, I feel like her and Michael B. Jordan would have gotten along perfectly fine. Because, you know, I feel like, like their relationship would have like done really good for the whole brother-sister dynamic. And that's one choice I had. Another choice I had was Natalie Dormer, also from Game of Thrones, but also from Elementary, when she played Moriarty. And, again, she has such beauty and elegance. And I feel like she'd have killed this part. Like, either both of them could have done it. And they both would have brought something else different to it that I feel like we haven't had with any other Invisible Woman so far. Jessica Alba was great for her time. Don't get me wrong. But I feel like these two great women would have done so much and have done so much on Game of Thrones where it would have been like, you know, we could transfer all, most of those over to, you know, everything else. Except for Amelia Clark being uh Invisible Woman, the fact that she doesn't have dragons, unless she can make invisible dragons behind her. But, I don't know. Just something that randomly popped into my head I want to share with you guys. Because I'm sorry, I just want to like make videos just to go and not worry about it. But, yeah, like I said, Natalie Dormer or Amelia Clark for Invisible Woman. Because I feel like it matches and it does a lot for the role. But, then again, I haven't seen Kate Mara. I don't know. I'm not doubting her performance. I hope she does well. So I don't seem like I'm wrong about anything. But, yeah, that was just my two cents on that. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another episode of The Comic Stand. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. And don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Tell all your awesome friends. Comment question of the day is, who would you have in the cast as Fantastic Four? Would you leave the current cast or change one person in and out? Don't forget to comment down let me know. Thank you guys so much. I'm going to catch you guys next week for more great content. Always remember through good times and bad times. Always remember to geek out and enjoy your lives. And I'm going to catch you guys next week.